Okay, so we're talking about the gospel of the kingdom here. As Churchill used to say, if you have a point to make, you make it very clearly. One point, you hammer it, go away and get a sledgehammer and hammer it again. I want you to understand that the knowledge of the gospel of the kingdom is as rare as the knowledge of the one God. And just to get people to believe in the one God, which is wonderful, if they haven't got the gospel defined correctly, they're still in need of teaching. And so you're going to get the point very clearly that Acts chapter 20, verses 24 and 25, are absolutely essential. Those two verses will change the world. In Acts 20, verses 24 and 25, Paul said that he'd been preaching the gospel of the kingdom and it was exactly the same as the gospel of the grace of God. That is brilliant, Paul, because that's exactly not what dispensationalism says. And there are Unitarian dispensationalists now, alas. So we must make sure that they understand that the gospel of the kingdom is the one and only gospel. Very simply, that there's a false distinction being made by evangelicals, particularly dispensationalists, in varying degrees. But the point is a very easy one. You're supposed to follow the teachings of Jesus. I repeat that. You're supposed to follow the teachings of Jesus and 1 Timothy 6.3 and 2 John 7-9 to are absolutely fair warnings. If you do not hear people speak of the teachings of Jesus, watch out, you're being scammed. Come on now, you're watch, you must watch out because 1 Timothy 6.3, Paul said, the teaching of Jesus is everything. The devil only has one major trick, and I'm talking about the external devil. That huge power of evil in the form of the devil, he only has one major trick. That's to separate you from the teachings of Jesus. You can go on saying, oh, I love the Lord. I've accepted the Lord. The Lord's in my heart vaguely. But if you haven't accepted his words, his gospel, you haven't really started. And my goodness, if I'd gone out this morning and found that nobody in, had heard of coronavirus, I would have been shocked. But what if everybody's saying, who's going to fix the world in the future? That's the only thing that counts. And the gospel is about how you, I mean you, I know God and Jesus, but you are going to fix the world. Oh, people say, if I could just hold the door for a thousand years, stop it. God is more excited about your talent and the things you go through right now in training. And you are the royal family. 